how are you? Uh, uh, this is uh, another series of my uh, orchid growing. And my name is Yusuf Hussein. Uh, in the first series, uh, I was explaining about demonstrating about the type of orchid plants, how they grow, and in what form. They are the sympodial and the monopodial, the multiple stem and single stem. But today, we are, I hope you are ready. Today, we are going to uh, learn a bit more about how to select, how to, what type of planting material to choose for, how to select your planting material. So, you have uh, many choices exactly. You can have a uh, small plant, medium sized plant. Uh, they call it pre-bloom plant or even blooming uh, which is faster so I have in front of me here the different types of planting material that are available in the farm or in the garden or in the nursery so we start off actually with a very I call it the young plants and the pots again small the single stem and also this young plant, the multiple stem, they are small in size and the pot is about 3 to 4 inches. And there's another type of planting material, young plant, called kiki. Anyway, uh, this the kiki is actually aerial uh, uh, baby plants born on the mother plant. I show in the picture here. But uh, we also have a slightly bigger plant that you can use, bigger planting stock. For example, you have a choice of young plants. This is about to bloom, pre-bloom plant. So they are bigger in size and then bigger pots. And uh, better still, you can start planting using, I call it top cuts. These are top of the plants that I cut off from a very mature plant and they are actually already flowering plants so we just use this uh, type of planting milk called top cut so we'll explain later uh, what is, each of it has its own uh, advantage and disadvantage and what are the risks of uh, choosing any one of them so you don't worry all these young plants will grow as big as uh, the plant that's around me with proper care and then Okay, uh, in choosing the right type of planting material, firstly, it tests your own patient. How long you think you want to wait before the plant will flower? Most people actually want to wait as short, short as possible time. But if you are very impatient, I would recommend you the top cut. Because top cut, actually you can have instant flowering plants. So this is any time the flower will open, and then the way to plant it, I think we will uh, explain. I will show you in the next series how to plant uh, these uh, orchids in the pots. So if you want to see the flower within weeks or days, you use top cut. But if you use a smaller one, you want to take another, let's say one year. If this size of plant, one year before it will start to grow about this size, or maybe more. This is the longest you got to wait, especially the mono stem. Mono stem is very slow growing. You see the leaves are very uh, close together compared to the uh, mono podium. That's why the sympodium. Okay, these are the smaller ones that you can wait for one year to, to a flower or more. Even with kiki, slightly faster because they have very developed root system. This kiki uh, can be found on older plants, mature plants. If you have thousands of uh, orchid plants in the garden, then you start seeing the kiki producing. Not on the very young one. Okay. So if you are in between, within uh, one year 
to about let's say months uh, six months I think you can use uh, your own discretion but uh, anytime you choose any size of plant you need to consider for beginners I would recommend this kiki because there's a uh, demerits about the top cuts I would recommend kikis so you have to buy kikis or uh, actually uh, in the garden so you can obtain your own kikis because kikis actually are fully developed plants they are actually very naturally growing above the ground compared to the young plants they need a substrate like say uh, charcoal or other medium for the roots to be developed. So, Kiki I would recommend for for beginners. Uh, the, actually, the smaller the plant, occur the longer uh, growing period and the flowering. But, there's one good thing about starting with small plant. It's cheaper. So, you can buy this probably in the nursery or depend on the market about uh, less than 10 ringgit time you can get less but with kiki also uh, it's about the same price and uh, for top cuts not easy to get or to see people selling top cuts because the grower has to sacrifice the top of the plant so actually it's a mature plant you may have to pay 20 ringgit for this uh, type of top cut so again the top cuts are most expensive but it is an instant plan. So for you, who are impatient, I think you can surprise your neighbor. You can have your plant within weeks flowering. And for those who have no, who have patience, uh, you can wait for one or two years. But you learn more by waiting one or two years. You learn how to take care of the plant, how the plant grow, and then some of the, the challenges and the issues of bringing up, like raising a, a child, you know, uh, or baby. So, and if you choose any of these uh, stages, you have to consider two factors. Uh, time uh, for flowering and the cost. And I will continue in the later series how actually we transfer this planting material or we plant in pots. Thank you. Thank you for watching our video on orchids. If you would like to know more about hexagon green and orchid growing, check out our other videos in the playlist. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Our orchid farm in Banting, Selangor is open on weekdays. We welcome visitors. If you like what we have seen, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Remember, growing orchid is not difficult. We have made it easy. See you next time.